Rick, yeah. I, I got a, I've got a question. So sure. with the, uh, you talk about um, the evolution of basic, basically the stealth technology. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, I mean, from a, from a cost and engineering standpoint, wouldn't it be easier? And I only asked this from like, I fought Lear jets with jammers and mover and I used to carry jammers and Oh yeah, sure. It seems to have relatively the same effect, right? It crushes the other your your opponent's SA and keeps you from keeps you from getting shot. Sure, so I mean, sure. can, couldn't they? Uh, like I've always wondered, like because to take care of that to do maintenance on all the LO stuff, it's very expensive. So I just, I've always wondered, like man, why don't we just put like just mad crazy jammer pods that, that don't sterilize you uh, on these on these airplanes? Well, look at it this way. The, uh, the thing you're trying to prevent is sneaking up on somebody, okay? And if you're jamming, you're sending stuff out for people to see. Yeah. So once you get into the actual defeating of an incoming weapon, that's a different problem. I mean, it's it knows where you are and you're trying to defeat it. You might be able to do that. But the whole, the whole idea of the stealth part of it is I want to sneak in here where they can't see me with the long range radars. And I can't, they can't see me with their fire control radars until I get pretty close. And the mantra we had in the, F, the, the ATF program was first look, first shot, first kill. So right. I can sneak up on these dudes. And if I'm coming on there with the buzzers going and the blinkers hanging and everything else just confuses him. He knows where you're at. And hell, if he's got five missing, he may shoot five at you. So it's not so much to defeat the end game as to get the first, first, first shot, first look, first look, first shot, first kill. And so when you're coming over from, let's say, uh, Whiteman Air Force Base, you don't want them to know you're coming. Okay? And that's what the stealth does for you. And if you're coming in with your jammer going, they say, what's that big buzz nut on my screen here? And so it's, it's, it's two different problems. And one's one solution for this, one solution for that. Or if you eject, you, know, <laughs> you may or may not find it until the next <laughs> day or two. Too soon? Are we? Well, is it too soon to be the, the guy who jumped out of the, the jump jet, the, uh, I lost the people when they, when a guy said I lost the airplane in the weather. <laughs> they're saying you know he lost it. It went in the clouds. He didn't know where in the hell it went. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Not that the airplane got boogered up in the in the weather. Yeah. Once you once you give it back to the taxpayers, anything goes. Just, yeah. Well, it's not your problem anymore. <laughs> well, um, thanks, Rick. 